unlimited access to 50 million songs. Download the Amazon Music app today. Alright, to there, yeah? Fine. To there? Hold that. Yeah. In a box. Got the angle grinder set up. It's rusty, but that'll just come off. I'm gonna do a few kind of practice cuts on that one. Clear some of the rust off that. That's a diamond blade, uh, which was still cut. Uh, pretty big, hefty machine. They're quite, they're a bit heavy, it's a bit oversized. I'd rather a little handheld one for what I'm doing, but I haven't got one, so gotta use what you got. What we're gonna be doing is trimming off a, a little bit from the tile, offering it up, having a look, seeing whether it fits or not. This is going to be lapped over another tile which is going to be shorter so these will get cut across here and that will get cut just at that little section there and then they will lap like that on the two on the two battens fairly fairly close to one another. I'll show you that, I'll show you how it looks once I've done a couple of test cuts and you can see how it goes. Got the ladder set up. So we're going to be swapping this tile and a half for a full tile and then this tile here which is cut to size and gives enough space there for the window to open. And then behind this tile here another tile that is going to be cut down to size and I'll show you that in a second. This lead this lead here is held on by a little lead tab which is actually nailed into the back here so if I pull this I can't it's actually nailed in place so hold on one second I'm just going to loosen it right I've just loosened it so I can now pull it with my hand and you'll see what I mean so there's actually that nailed through the tile through that hole there to hold and support that lead in place so I want to keep that I'll nail it through the tile I've just cut. Place that up there behind me on the scaffolding. Is there another one? Okay, there isn't another one, but the tile is nailed in place there. So I'll have to gently prise that tile off and swap it for a full, a normal tile, and then the cut tile that I've cut. There wasn't another nail, but there is this glue, which is very, very strong. So I've managed to pull the nail out the back here. That tile is just being held on hanging in place just with that adhesive. I'll have to gently get that off as well without damaging the lead or the tile. There we go. All right, that's come off now. I can peen all that back down once I've put the new tile in up there. So we're gonna be putting a single tile in and then the cut tile into that space there. All right, that one's nailed in place. One nail's perfectly fine. Given him, bear in mind that tile and a half was held in place with one nail. So you can see what I mean now by the cut of that tile. All of that will get wrapped with lead, so I'm not fussed about that little nick there off the corner. And now I just need to cut another tile to sit under here just to help hold it out to fill this gap here. So I've got to measure a tile from being hung there to finishing there. So it'll only be short, but it will really help bolster out the tile and so I'll do those I'll cut and install that run all along there 
and then I can do the same again on the other side. Right, dusty, dusty work. Not that miserable, but dusty. Again, top tip, you'll have seen it, it's pretty obvious. I didn't invent this, but it is handy if you haven't ever been shown it. Every single one of these is exactly the same. And I know that, and I didn't measure any of them. I offered up the first one, marked it off what was needed, and then cut the rest of them. I have no idea what size that is, and I don't need to. I know that they're all gonna fit. So. If you're not that good at math, so you don't want to spend time measuring with the tape, in certain instances you can get away with just having a template. And as long as the template is accurate, you can repeat cut all day long and, uh, and you won't get it wrong. As long as your template is accurate and it is not something that you need to accu accurately measure. As you'll have seen in other parts of this build, you do have to accurately measure. Post a comment in the section below. It would be interesting to hear your thoughts. got our row of little half tiles now all along there and so now I've obviously I've already cut this one I can offer it up and sit it in place and that's fine the window still opens there and then I can just take that much off all the tiles the whole way along and it'll line up this one here is not a tile and a half at the top there so I may have to you might be able to see that's a, that's been cut down so I'll probably have to do the same, but this window here doesn't open. So if it overlaps on the frame ever so slightly, it's not the end of the world, but I'm, I, I, wanna, I wanna line it up actually. Yeah, so this one, that one's been cut down. I'll probably have to cut down the last one just to, just to match it up. So I'm quite pleased with that, that's all come out really nicely. Obviously I'm going to lead across, the lead, lead will continue across there and I can peen all that down, I don't need to do that yet. Once the new lead comes in later today or tomorrow I can do that. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that, first attempt at a little bit of tiling. Cut, cut the tile in half and keyed it in so it matches all the rest of that down here on both sides. So it's good. Right, pretty pleased with how this is coming along. All of these are well above where the door will open. So the door opens along there. It's got plenty of space. Just got to run the last few tiles in. I think there's about nine left to go. And then I can run the lead flashing across the top and we're done. Right, we are finished. Tile and a half's line up. Notched that one up. And the rest of them we're all done. So I've just got to put the lead flashing in now across the top and we are finished on that. So I'm really pleased with that because it was a bit of an extra added job. I wasn't expecting to have to do that but they were going to be putting a plastic fascia above there which I just didn't like the look of. I hadn't really looked at that when they specced the job. I hadn't overly thought about it so I like the white fascia down the side because it matches but where you got tiling around the, around the outside I think that just looks so much better so yeah I will be fixing that lead putting that all in place all the way along peening it down and fixing it in place with some CT1 or something similar to make sure it's uh, not going anywhere